In today's video, we're going to be diving into when to expect your first freeze in 2025. We'll be going over your annual averages and then comparing that with our fall and winter temperature forecasts so that we can see if it's expected earlier or later than typical. Now, before we really, really dive into things, we just uploaded our fall and winter forecasts, which you can check out on the top right corner of your screen. And also, if you like the video, subscribe and leave a comment with your location below this video. I will be responding to all of those comments, letting you know if I expect you to see an earlier or later freeze than typical for your location. So be sure to do all three of those things. It helps me out a lot and I'll be responding to as many of those comments as possible. Our first area is gonna be the late August area where they expect their first freeze just later this month. That's why I had to make this video so soon because we're already on the doorstep for some of these areas. Now, I would be very shocked if any of you guys live in these areas. Uh, in the white here that you can see. So if you do live in these regions, please comment because that would be really, really interesting. Uh, we could see very many of these very tippy top mountains in the Cascades and the northern half of the Rockies there expecting their first freeze for late August. Now we're going to add the early September time frame and we do add quite a few areas here throughout the Sierra Nevada mountain range, throughout some of the Cascade mountains there, especially in Oregon. And then we see a lot more of the Rockies involved, Idaho, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana. And then we also see a little bit of northern Minnesota in there where they average seeing their first freeze in the first half of September. Let's go ahead and add in the late September time frame. Still not that far away, just a little bit over a month out from this. We will be adding a huge huge chunk of the nation uh, they will be expecting to see their first freeze lots of areas throughout the mountainous west actually most areas in the mountainous west throughout the rockies sierra nevada and cascades will be seeing their first freeze during this time frame also a lot of the northern plains as you can see uh, as well as a lot of the upper midwest and northern great lakes mostly michigan mostly the upper peninsula of Michigan, but there is a little bit on that very northern tip of the lower peninsula expecting it during this time frame. Now, as we kind of take a peek further eastward, we can see some of those mountain ranges here in the northeast, uh, such as the Green Mountains, the White Mountains, the Adirondacks, as well as the mountains in northern Maine there. I don't know what you'd call that mountain range or kind of hilly area in northern Maine. Let me know if there's an actual name for that. I've never known of one, but I'd be curious to know for those areas up there. Let's go ahead and add in the early October area. And now we're starting to really add massive chunks of the nation with every single time frame. I would say we're pretty close to half the nation already by early October. Uh, really, this is through October 15th. So this will be the first through the 15th of October here in this kind of purple shade. And we can see uh, pretty much the entirety of the mountainous west now, as well as a lot of those areas that are just kind of moderate elevation. It is very high elevation, but for out there, it's moderate. If it was in the east, it'd be the tallest mountain ranges in the east, but moderate western mountain ranges. Uh, we're adding pretty much all of these areas in. We can also see a lot of the, pretty much all of the northern plains as well as some of the central plains are now involved like Kansas and Nebraska. Also a lot more of the Midwest like northern Missouri into Iowa, northern Illinois, northern Indiana. Also pretty much all of Michigan now with the exception of these areas uh, just near Detroit. Then as we look eastward, we start to get the mountainous east involved where most of the Appalachian mountain range is now in the early October time frame for when they expect to see their first freeze. And with the Northeast and New England, we're really just missing the very Southern areas here uh, where they expect it in late October. Now we have by far the majority of the nation already seeing their first freeze for that second half of October. Uh, we can see a little sliver more of the very western areas in, are involved. But as we know, there's massive mountains and then there's these really, really 
temperate valleys and there's a huge contrast between those two areas but it's a very small area where that contrast occurs so that's why the color gradients are so tight out there in the west and so loose in the east it's all that pacific air moving right on shore to the west when we look at the south central states we're now seeing a lot more of new mexico in this late october area also northern texas mostly the panhandle there northern oklahoma the rest of kansas into areas like arkansas missouri and then we start to talk about southern illinois southern indiana a lot of central ohio into kentucky tennessee and even some of the northern deep south states like northern mississippi northern alabama and northern georgia here and then for areas of upstate south carolina western north carolina and the western two-thirds of virginia are all in this for the mid-atlantic we see most everywhere in this late october uh region outside of delaware and some of far eastern maryland uh pretty much the whole mid-atlantic is now covered we only have a couple more shades to go so let's just work our way through it we're now adding the early november time frame so this will be the first through the 15th of november we cover pretty much all of the coastal northwest areas again a little bit more of these southwestern areas but again that gradient is still very tight now we're starting to involve a lot of central texas southern oklahoma the rest of arkansas northern louisiana and basically i would say the northern three-fourths of mississippi alabama georgia now uh, a little bit of the florida panhandle in there as well and then everywhere in South Carolina, except for the southeastern coastline, now eastern North Carolina and eastern Virginia are also in this early November region. For the next one, this is the after November 15th area. So a lot of California does get in included here where they do expect to see a freeze probably very close to the peak wintertime temperatures on average. But it might just be, you know, most years, not every single year for some of these areas. Keep that in mind. This goes for southern Texas as well, southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, a lot of northern Florida, southern Georgia, and again, southeastern South Carolina. This is anytime after November 15th. So this could be, again, your peak wintertime coldest temperatures, or it could be just a little bit after November 15th. We only have one more shade, and that's going to be the areas that expect no freeze. That's going to be for far southeastern Louisiana, far southern Texas, the rest of California and Arizona, and then the southern two-thirds of Florida. Some of these areas, again, might average seeing a freeze every other year. That's kind of the first area here on the very northern portions. And then you get to areas where it's like maybe once every three years and then once every five years and then once every 10 years. So there's different levels to this, obviously, and I'd have to draw a million different shades in and we would be here all day. Uh, but it's definitely important to note that this does not mean a freeze is impossible. And we're going to dive into the temperature forecasts for my fall forecast and my winter forecast to kind of just show you guys not only the chances of an early freeze, but also for some of these areas that don't expect to see one. Perhaps the chances that you do see that once every other year, once every three years, or once every five year freeze. So let's go ahead and move into, first off, my fall forecast, which this one is on my channel. I think I uploaded this one four or five days ago, so you guys can check that video out. Uh, for now, we are expecting overall warmer temperatures in the western states. If you really, really want to hear me break it down more, also going over the precipitation and the overall forecast, be sure to watch that whole fall forecast video. Uh, but we do have a warmer Pacific that is bringing warmer Pacific air on shore to the west, and that is why we expect those warmer temperatures out there. Colder overall in the east. So with colder overall in the east, we can expect some of these areas in Louisiana, you know, central Florida maybe, talking about maybe this being one of those years where we get a colder snap than what's typical and do see that semi-rare freeze for some of those areas or maybe a very rare freeze of course it's kind of irrelevant for these areas for the fall forecast because that wouldn't likely be happening in the fall that'd likely be happening in the winter all of these areas in the blue probably have a better chance of seeing an earlier freeze than what's typical so if you paid attention to when your area expects to see that freeze maybe you're in the color shade before it 
It all depends on the timing, but that does increase the odds of that occurring. As we dive into those wintertime temperature forecasts, everything just worsens. We expect a little bit more confidence of warmth out west, a little bit more confidence of cold in the east as we head into the winter months. And this is when we would be talking about, you know, southern Texas, southeastern Louisiana, again, central Florida, maybe even southern, uh, depending on where you would, you know, where you would be thinking that line would be. It really depends. I know some areas uh, it is very, very, very rare to even impossible, but it just depends. This kind of just increases the chances for some of those areas where it doesn't average on happening every single year. So keep that in mind. With all that being said, again, be sure to check out those two videos. Um, I'm very, always very excited to upload these seasonal forecasts. And we do have very many more on the way. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and like the video because we have many more coming up. When to expect your peak fall foliage is one that we do have coming up. Also, when to expect your first snowfall is going to be coming up at some point. And then also how much snowfall to expect. So our actual snowfall forecast for 2025 to 2026, uh, as well as any updates to the fall and winter forecasts, you're going to want to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be able to see those coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and leave that comment down below with your location. Don't want you guys to forget that one. And I will see you guys in the next video.